the big hill. Today, Pepper and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. Oh, I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well... There's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? Brilliant! That will keep me going. Ah, nearly there, George. It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> Mummy, why did they make hills so big? <sighs> I don't know, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone far. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! <laughs> Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you? Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs>
is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. Peppa Pig. Hippies. Today, Peppa and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa! Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, my little ones. Granny, why are you dressed? Funny. Granny is playing another little game with her friends. It's not a game. It's an historical reenactment of an ancient time, the 1960s. Ooh. So, I'm dressed as a hippie. What is a hippie? It's what Grandpa and I were a long time ago. Hippies loved colourful clothes. Yes, those were good times. And I've got costumes for you and George. Pepper and George <laughs> are dressed as hippies. Have a nice time. I'll see you later. Uh, 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 hang on, Grandpa. You have to dress up too. What? But I... Uh, if you I... don't join in, you're a square. Why did you say Grandpa is a square? A square is what hippies called people who were grumpy and boring. I'm not grumpy or boring, so I suppose I'll join your little game. Good. I found these clothes in the back of the cupboard. Wow. This is my old flowery shirt and my velvet bell-bottom trousers. <laughs> Maybe this will be fun after all. Follow me, everyone. We're meeting my other hippie friends in the garden. Grampy Rabbit is dressed as a hippie. Groovy man! Madame Gazelle and Granny Elephant are dressed as hippies too. Out of sight, dudes! Sweet out, baby! Do you cats dig our bean machine? What? He means, do you like the van? Oh, yes! It's very nice! So now everyone's here, what happens? We're going to do things that hippies did in the 1960s. Well, I was there at the time, but it's so long ago, I can't remember what we did. If you can remember it, you weren't there. Hippies played music. And sang songs. Groovy Rainbow, hear my song. Flowers. They wore them on their heads. <laughs> there you go. Flower power. Flower power. Hippies wanted to be one with nature. We wanted to save the planet. We do that at Playgroup. Save the planet. <laughs> That's right. The children have been learning about nature. <laughs> we have been saving the planet by planting a little tree. Pepper and her friends like saving the planet. Trees are wonderful living beings. When we were hippies, we used to hug them. Oh. Let's all give the trees a hug. Come on, Grandpa. We're all doing it. Well, I suppose things can't get any sillier. <laughs> the trees like hugs. Of course they do. Oh, no, it's raining. Oh, chill out, daddy Oh, Rain is part of nature. And it's only a little shower. The rain is stopping already. The rain has stopped. But now the ground is all wet, it's probably time to stop the hippie game. Um, did hippies jump in muddy puddles? Well, I don't quite remember. Jumping in puddles is really fun. And hippies like fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is groovy. Out of sight, dudes. Right on, man. It's a gas. <laughs> I love being a hippie. No, hippies love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Rainbow, hear my song This is my little 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Flying discs. Today, Peppa and her family have come to play in the park. Look what I've brought along. Ooh, what is it? It's a flying disc. <laughs> That is good. Yes, flying discs are brilliant. To you, Mummy Pig. <laughs> to you, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Oh, it didn't fly. It's okay, Peppa. You just have to spin the disc in a special way. Hold it flat and then spin it. Okay. Hold it flat and spin it. To you, George. <laughs> Throw the disc to me, George. <laughs> Got you. To you, Pepper. What? Got you. Oh, our disc isn't red. Whose disc is that? It is Danny Dog and his daddy. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Danny. Good. You caught our disc. Ah, oh, it's your disc. Yes. Can you spin it back to me? OK. To you, Danny. <laughs> what? Another disc. Hello, Peppa. It is Mandy Mouse and her mummy. Have you seen a blue disc? Yes. I caught it. <laughs> That's my disc. OK, Mandy. Are you ready? Yes. Steady? Yes. Catch. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Here is Susie Sheep and her mummy. Hi, Susie. Have you got a flying disc? Yes, it's the best flying disc in the world. It has flashing lights and plays music. Ooh! Great! So where is this amazing disc? Um, well, you see, the thing is... Mum threw it in a tree. Mummy Sheep threw Susie's flying disc into the top of a tall tree. It's very high up. Hmm, too high to climb. No problem. We'll just knock that disc out with this one. No, Dad! <gasps> <gasps> ah, that's not what was supposed to happen. But it was a good idea. I wonder if I can knock both of them out of the tree. No, Mummy! <gasps> <gasps> Looks like we've got the only disc left. Shall I try and knock the others out of the tree? OK, Daddy. But do it right. Oh. <gasps> All the discs are stuck in the tree. Don't worry. I know a way to get the discs down. You remember how I shook an apple tree to get apples down? Yes! All the apples fell on Daddy's head. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, really funny. So, this is the same sort of idea. I might need a bit of help. This is a big tree. Right then. Squeeze! Oh, I think it's working. Keep shaking, Daddy. Shake harder, Mummy. Come on, Mum. Put some effort in. Uh, I'm trying my best. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Ah. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> okay, everyone, watch what my disc does. Susie's flying disc has flashing lights and plays music. Wow! <laughs> to you, Danny! To you, Peppa! Peppa loves flying discs. <laughs> Everybody loves flying discs. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. This 
is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> And Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But we are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes, I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> Oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop. Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go. go! <laughs> Wait for us. <laughs> now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um... Don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little.
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Charity shop. Pepper and George are helping Mummy and Daddy Pig tidy up. Ooh, there's so much stuff in here. Yes, I'm sure we don't need half of it. What do you mean? Well, do you really need this tuba? Yes, I do. And one day, I'll learn how to play it. <laughs> I just have to find time to practice. Until then, it just sits around with all this other stuff gathering dust. Hmm. I say we take some of it to the charity shop. What is a charity shop? It's where you take things you don't need anymore. And it's all for a good cause. But it's so difficult to decide what to give away. It's easy. You just pick something up and ask yourself, does this bring me joy? If the answer is yes, we keep it. If the answer is no, it goes. OK. So, I ask myself, does this plant bring me joy? And the answer is yes, it does. So we keep it. Yes. <laughs> does this plastic vase bring me joy? No. So it can go to the charity shop. Now it's Daddy's turn. I will help you, Daddy. OK, Peppa. Does this bell bring you joy, Daddy? Yes, it does. What about this cup? That's my football cup. Yes, it brings me joy. Maybe I should help Daddy from now on, Peppa. What about this tatty old chair? I thought we'd given it away already. Pure joy. What about this book? Hard Problems in Logistics, Volume 3. Hmm, that's not a very joyful book. OK, then it can go. Uh... This is fun! <laughs> what a great tidy up! Now, off to the charity shop. See you later! Bye! This is the charity shop. Here is Granny Wolf. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. We've got some things for your shop. Oh, thank you very much. Here is Grandpa Giraffe. I've made the tea. Did someone say tea? Here is Grandad Elephant. Tea? And Grandma Cow. Uh, and old Mrs Donkey. I've made more tea. There are a lot of old people helping in the charity shop. They like drinking tea. Wow! There are so many interesting things in here. Yes, our shop is full of stuff. What do you do with it? We sell it. And the money raised is all for a good cause. Daddy, can we buy something? Well, yes. After all, it's all for a good cause. The great thing about charity shops is that you never know what you're going to find. One week it might be jigsaw puzzles. It's my job to count all the jigsaw pieces to make sure none are missing. There's one, two, three. The next week four, we might get bagpipes. Bagpipes? I've always wanted to play the bagpipes. We'll take them. Daddy, can we buy this wooden bird? Why not? George has found a garden gnome. We'll take that too. The more we buy, the more it helps. And look, we have a complete 20-volume encyclopedia. Wow! What's that? These books tell you everything about the world in 1956. Amazing! Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have arrived home. Mummy, Mummy! We found lots of things at the charity shop. What? Yes! There was so much amazing stuff there. Look, a complete set of encyclopedia. And Daddy is going to learn the bagpipes. Oh, the room is just as full as it was before. Yes, all thanks to the charity shop. It's the best shop in the world. Pepper loves the charity shop. Everyone loves the charity shop.
brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Apple Tree. It is summer. Peppa and George have come to the Apple Tree to play. My go! The Apple Tree has a little swing on it. <laughs> Peppa loves the swing. Swing, swing! <laughs> George wants to have a go. I will push you, George. <laughs> Look, there's a little apple in the tree. Yes, in fact, it looks like there are lots of little apples. Can we eat one? Oh, the apples look a bit small. Maybe they're not ready yet. Please, can we try? Hmm, I suppose I could give the tree a little shake and see if one falls down. Oof! An apple has fallen on Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, here's your apple. Thank you. Ugh, it's not very apple-y. It's a bit early for apples, Peppa. They'll taste better in the autumn. We'll come and visit the apple tree again then. Oh, goody. Apple tree, apple tree, you are friends with George and me. I can swing all day long as I sing my little song. <laughs> it is autumn. The leaves on the apple tree have turned red. <laughs> Pepper and George have come to play. Swing, swing! <laughs> I will push you, George. <laughs> wow! The apples are really big now. Yes, I think they might be ready to eat. I'll just give the tree a little shake. Whoa! Lots of leaves have fallen on Daddy Pig. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no apples fell down. Shake it again, Daddy. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Lots of apples have fallen on Daddy Pig. Oh, oh, I had a feeling that might happen. Yummy! <laughs> These are the best apples in the world. Mm, yes, they're definitely ready now. Delicious! Thank you, Apple Tree! <laughs> apple Tree, Apple Tree, you are friends with George and me. All your leaves have turned red. Apples fall on Daddy's head. <laughs> it is winter. The Apple Tree is covered in snow. Pepper and George have come to play. Hello, Tree! Have you got any apples for me? Oh, there are no apples in the winter time, Pepper. Maybe there is one left? Well, I suppose I could give the tree a little shake and see what falls down. All the snow has fallen on Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I really should know better than to shake that tree. Look, there aren't any leaves or apples. Don't worry, Pepper. The leaves will come back in the spring. Can we come back again? Of course, Pepper. Oh, goody. <laughs> apple tree, apple tree, you are friends with George and me. With no apples and no leaves, you are still a happy tree. <laughs> it is springtime. There are little flowers on the apple tree. <laughs> Wow! Look at all the flowers on the tree. Yes, that's called blossom. It's beautiful. I love this time of year. And it smells so lovely. Are there any apples in the tree today? Not today, Peppa. Um, can you shake it just a little bit, Daddy? OK. Lots of blossom has fallen on Daddy Pig. Oh, oh, well, I have to say, that's a lot nicer than apples or leaves or snow falling on me. <laughs> this is so pretty. <coughs> I love the apple tree. Me too. I think it's the best tree ever. <laughs> Peppa, Mummy, Daddy and George love the apple tree. Everyone loves the apple tree. Apple tree, apple tree, you are friends with George and me. I can swing all day long as I sing my little song. All your leaves have turned red, apples fall on Daddy's head. 